Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Dancing Star Philly. Tuning in to do your reading for you right here and now. I stopped putting dates on my reading. I trust that when you get this message is when you're supposed to get it. And also I've been gone for so long, but now I'm back and happy to be back. Alright, Sagittarius, for the Saggies watching me. Sagittarius, talk to me, my darling. The temperance. All right, here you are. There's an angel helping you. You have an angel guiding you and the star. Wow, a lot of healing happening for you, Sagittarius. A lot of water energy. Sagittarius, what do I want to tell my Sagittarius? And the sun in the reverse. Hmm. You also have three of pentacles here, Saji. So this is about a home. You got a communication about your home. That was not very bright because of the sun in the reverse. Interesting. You have the Three of Cups, the King of Swords, and the Empress in the reverse. There was communication about children. That you did not really agree with so much. We have the page of wands. I don't like this card. This page of wands is about someone that's being show-offy, acting very childish. Acting very childish. Um, maybe you're not communicating with this person, but you're waiting on a certain communication. We have the hanged man. In the reverse, or maybe you're not waiting anymore for this to come through. And the Knight of Swords in the reverse, so there's no communication there. There was no communication. Oops. And the Five of Swords. So there was a win-lose situation here. A win-lose situation. All right, last shuffle. All right, 
and the 1111 card, the Four of Wands. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Someone that's very sure of themselves, that's very creative, that is able to manifest. I feel like this is you, Sagittarius, with that fire sign, with that fire element. You're starting the reading as yourself and ending the reading as yourself with the Queen of Wands. So maybe you won the war, you won the battle about a home, something that has to do with your house, your home. Or something happening within your home. We have two home cards here. The three of pentacles and the four of wands. We also have the retreat card, the healing card. We have the star as the healing card. And the four of swords as the meditation, healing, coming home after battle. Maybe this was a legal battle. Maybe it was about children. Could be about children or someone acting childish, but there is a, a battle that was won and I feel like it's you who won the battle or will win the battle. The person that you're dealing with can be very, look at him like he can't even wear his cloak properly. He is, you know, all show-offy, only looking at his wand. Kind of like a little bit of a selfish attitude. You were waiting for that information to come in with the hangman in the reverse. But you're not waiting anymore because it's in the reverse. So you're kind of not waiting on this anymore. You kind of know which way to go and how to go and how to navigate by yourself. You kind of don't need them for, for to navigate. Maybe they think that you still need them. And they're all like, oh, she can't do it or he can't do it without me. But um, you're navigating the world by yourself. And you're getting very good at it, Sagittarius. You have someone helping you or maybe your friends helping you lifting you up you know yeah you have some good people around you trying to help you you have also someone this this card the temperance it could also mean that you have someone in spirit helping you out they're always watching over you they're making sure that you are well that you are healing they're making sure that you are healing and you're taking care of yourself um yeah uh, loving yourself i feel good you know doing this reading i feel good so maybe you're feeling good you're feeling like the queen on your throne you're feeling like the queen on your throne after some sneaky behavior sneaky be behavior that was happening around you someone tried to take away something from to take something away from you um it was it was that king of swords and it was the same person sometimes presenting themselves as the page of wands so that they're very harsh in their words they could be really harsh in their words the way they speak could be you know very cut to the ch cutting to the chase but there was sneaky behavior here and it made you become defensive. It made you become defensive. It made you... It, 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 there were Maybe there were fights happening. I don't know. Um, there were fights happening. About a home. It's very clear to me. It's about a home. Take it how it resonates. It could be a physical, an actual physical home. But it could also mean like the sense of belonging, like, you know, some other person could be home for you, that kind of sense. 
but it could also be about like a residence place because of the 1111 card. I, I call this the 1111, it's the four of wands. It's uh, happy home, celebration, um, reaching the finish line with this, with this situation. There's a win-lose and someone lost. It could be like a legal battle. I don't see the justice card, but it could be for some of you like a legal battle, maybe about children's custody or about you know the, the, the physical home itself. Maybe someone wanted to take that home away from you or, you know. But you're very strong, Sajis. I feel it. You're very sure of yourself. You're very strong. You're not letting anything bother you. You know about that sneakiness anyway. You've always known uh, the games that they play in order to get you, you know, in limbo. But you're healing from that with the star card. It's the, star, it's the card of healing. You're healing from that. You're meditating. You're retreating within yourself. You're, you know, you've gone to battle, so you've laid down your sword. You've lay, laid down your sword, my Sagittarius. While they still are carrying their sword. They're presenting themselves as the king of wands, but as we move forward, as we go through the cards from the first card, I do my reading like from the first, like chronologically, I don't know how to say, like in order. They were like a king of swords and everything, but then when the situation grew or it advanced they became a knight of swords in the reverse so they can't really move forward they can't really move on you know they have trouble communicating maybe because now you know kind of like their mind games so they're unable to communicate or have or have an effect on you like they used to have How far am I here? 12 minutes. What else do I want to do? Is there another message before I close this for my Sagittarius? Any other messages for Sagittarius? Any advice for my Sagis? Yeah, balance. Try to always stay in balance, uh, my lovely Sagittarius. We have the Two of Pentacles. So try to always stay in balance. It seems like you're winning this battle. Um, uh, try to always stay positive, you know, uh, handle the negativity, but the positivity both in a in an eloquent way because, you know, you're not losing this, you're winning this. So keep it, keep it up. You've also reached the finish line. I see this as infinity. So you've reached a certain spiritual finish line here. And Spirit is very proud of you that it's starting the reading as yourself. So you've reached a high level of, after your healing, you've reached a high level of, sp of spirituality. Spirit is with you and is helping you through this matter. So don't be afraid, my Sagittarius. So here's your message for this week month whenever you get it um i'm gonna be doing more readings soon if you need a private reading please feel free to reach out you can just donate to my gofundme channel uh, if you'd like a reading that's my the way to book it to book a reading with me this, everything is in the description box below as i said so i will love you my sagis and i will leave you for now and as i always say see you when the sun rises bye sagis